Hi Virgo, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Virgo, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Virgo. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Swords, and this is air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So this is an energy of conflict, um, miscommunication, pettiness, spitefulness, vindictiveness, drama. Um, and it looks like someone feels defeated by the drama. Someone wants to withdraw. Someone is ready to distance themselves. So let's see. We have the Two of Swords, Air Energy, the Six of Swords, Air Energy, and the Strength card, Leo Energy. So yeah, someone wants to remove themselves from the situation. They are wanting to prioritize their peace, their mental health, and their well-being. Um, there are major trust issues in this situation. It does look like someone is putting up their guard. They're, put, they're raising the white flag. They're giving up. They're throwing in the towel, and they're choosing themselves. And it's taking a lot out of them to do this with the Strength card. It does look like this person was in love. This person was was emotionally invested but they are you know they, they're having to restrain and suppress those feelings and doing what's best for them right now okay so let's clarify these cards um virgo Okay, we have the Seven of Swords in the reverse, and this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. So, yeah, it does look like it's like something has come to the light, and someone is recognizing that something may be a lost cause. Um, something is, you know, it's like someone has become exposed, been exposed, and the other party, after seeing what they've seen, they can't unsee it, and they are kind of ready to remove themselves. So we have the Knight of Wands, Fire Energy, the Hanged Man, Pisces Energy, and the Devil in the reverse, Capricorn Energy. So heavy energy of releasing something toxic, releasing a situation that wasn't serving either one of the people involved. Because with the Devil being here, it's like this was possibly a karmic connection. It could have been a, a soul tie that was keeping you guys together, but it's not a healthy relationship with the Devil being involved. There's obsession, there's power struggles, there's ego. And with the Hanged Man, it's like someone was waiting to see change in the situation, but it just never came. And ultimately, this person had to cut themselves loose. There is this feeling of having to, you know, sacrifice this connection. Um, and with the Knight of Wands, there's again a short-lived connection, something that was it kind of burned very passionately very quickly very brightly but it fizzled out you know it's like this can't continue it's too volatile so there is an energy of releasing a connection that's not healthy so i'm gonna pull out an oracle card for you virgo Okay, we have adjustments are required, third quarter moon. So changes needed to be made in order for this connection to thrive. But right now, it looks like someone wants to remove themselves. They want to time out. Um, major changes would have to happen here because we're seeing someone who's already moving on, like they're giving up on this. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So there's again, they're raising the white towel, the white flag. They're releasing this. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have elegance and patience. 
nature does not hurry yet everything is accomplished okay so i'm gonna pull out a card for your advice virgo Okay, we have surrender to silence. In quiet meditation or contemplation, let go and enter the stillness within. Silence can heal and replenish you. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Virgo. I hope you have a really, really good day, Virgo. Bye, Virgo.